Hey guys, Steve here from the Phonograph Stop. Well, my Caswell plug and plate brush plating system just came in, and I am new to plating anything. So this is my first kit. So this kit came with a bottle of plug and plate flash copper solution and plug and plate nickel solution. Good amount there. Came with the power adapter and came with the two brush plating wands. Uh, one is copper, and the other one is for nickel plating. And also came with two bandages, which I've already I've already bandaged up here. Now, um, the first thing you want to do when you get this kit is read through the instructions thoroughly. I've read this book at least three or four times already. Um, it has a, on the back. It has a lot of lot of helpful uh, helpful hints. And also, um, from what I'm told, the company is very responsive. Um, if you have any issues and you, uh, you know, send them a message, they'll get back to you pretty quickly. So then what I did was um, I wrapped up each wand. And what you want to do is you want to cover the entire metal of the wand. And you want to lightly wrap them, not too tight. And um, you're going to wrap it as if you're, you have a cut on the end of your finger and you're wrapping the end of your finger. And then you just get the rubber band that it came with and secure it onto the wand like that. So now we go to the preparation phase and this is preparing your parts for proper plating. Now all surfaces must be highly polished and thoroughly cleaned with no corrosion. You can use a mild abrasive cleaner polish such as soft scrub or Dawn uh, to get them clean. Do not touch the parts with your fingers after cleaning. Insufficient cleaning before plating will cause the plating job to fail every time. After cleaning your parts, you should run it under water and note how the water comes off of the part. If it beads up anywhere on the part, like a wax car, it's, it's not clean and you should repeat the cleaning steps that you've taken so far. Just a note, the parts shown have not been fully prepared yet. Okay, so we are ready to plate our parts. And uh, for this video, I'm just going to plate this tone arm elbow. And I'm going to first plate it in copper. So I have a nice copper base for the nickel plating to uh, adhere to. So Let's get our plating wand and we'll just soak it into the glass copper solution. Make sure you get a, a nice blue and just take a piece. Nice, even, quick strokes. See how it's turning copper. Okay, I think we have a nice coat of copper plating on there, which should, uh, which should do the nickel plating really well. So, let's get to the uh, nickel plating, shall we? Okay, guys, so now comes the nickel plating of the elbow. my nickel plating wand here. I'm going to soak up the wand rather well. And the solution is green in color. Okay. And we will start plating.
All right, well, here's my final product. Um, I haven't uh, really polished it yet. I'm going to use the, uh, the metal polish shown. It's uh, Blue Magic. But um, all I did was um, rinse these parts rather well. And I can see a couple little spots um, on here, which uh, hopefully will be able to be polished out. I'm sure it will. So I'm pretty happy overall. I, had, I ran into a lot of problems when, um, when it came to nickel plating over the copper. It just didn't seem to really uh, go well. Um, it took a, took a really long time to get it to get it right. And um, to be honest with you guys, I'm not even sure if this is 100% right, but it looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm happy with that. And um, I hope this video is going to help uh, help you make a decision whether you want to purchase the Caswell plug and plate system. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next spin. Take care.